In today's video, I'll be making Patrick Star from the TV show Camp Coral. After I built a frame, I planned on connecting everything with semicircles, but I didn't do that and I just made this for no reason you can see later in the video. Stephen Hillenburg, the creator of Spongebob, actually never wanted any spin-offs containing the characters. I wouldn't be making this video if they hadn't disobeyed him, but I've never actually watched the show, I just thought the character was cute. This character design was actually really simple and really easy to make, the only hard part was filling in everything. A lot of fans of Steven were absolutely disgusted by the announcement of the show that they made a petition and they got over 70,000 signatures. And honestly, who can blame them? Once I finished filling everything in, I used the Dremel to sand it down before I smoothed it out because it just makes it easier and I'm all about things being easier and less time consuming. I actually did a lot of sanding, I think a total of maybe an hour or so, but it got completely ruined by the crappy paint that I had. But I recently bought new paints and paint brushes so that won't be a problem in the future. I wanted it to be smoother and I was going to use spackle paste but I had to throw it away because I didn't close it properly and it dried up so I ended up just using a file and a sandpaper block. Once the body was done, I began to add the details like the mouth. Once that was done, I used a pen and traced out the details like the eyes and the eyebrows and then I cut it out. The reason I'm adding this filament here is to make his clothes look 3D and I just paint it on. Then I followed the previous cut outline and filled in his eyes. Then I smoothed them out with the soldering iron. For some reason, I actually tried to make his eyes two separate eyeballs and completely separate from his head and it didn't work out so I just went back to this. You can see how adding the filament where the clothes start made it look a little bit better. More sanding. One eternity later. Next on the list was his tie and his collar. Even with all the fans outcry, Camp Coral is still getting a season 2. I didn't like the way these arms look, so I made a new set off camera. I think his arms look way better up in the air than they do by his side. If you notice his collar was gone, you get a cookie, I made a new one because I didn't like the way the old one looked. I also added his tie. And then his belly button. Then the bottom of his shorts. Once that was done, I filled in the shorts that had his feet on top. Then lastly, we make his feet. I wanted it to look even smoother so I added some primer filler and sanded it down. Mm -hmm. 
I also made him a cute little base to stand on. If you think something looks off, it probably does because I forgot to add his eyebrows and his tooth, so I had to make them later. I added the flowers to his pants. And this is how he turned out. I used resin for the first time on his eyes to make them look glossy and it spilled all over. Overall, I don't think he looks bad. I think he looks pretty cute even though it looks like he's slobby. I also put resin on the base and it kind of slid him around a little bit so he's not completely centered. But that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.